In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. The word repentance scares many people. كلمة توبة بتخوف كثير منا. Because as our Metropolitan Saba says, self-reflection is something undesirable to people. He continues saying, human beings do not want to see their flaws and shortcomings. They prefer to be praised by everyone and honored in every circumstance. Today is the second Sunday of the Triodion, the pre-Lenten preparation Sunday is the Sunday of the prodigal son, Ahad al-Ibn al-Shatir. A theme of repentance, Mawdu' al tawbi a theme of coming back home, al-Awdi ila al-Manzil al-Abawi, which is a title of the many titles, one of the major ones of Great Lent. That is a journey back home. Psalm who rihlat al-awd ila al-bayt, a journey back home to our father's house, to paradise. And this journey, going back home, starts with a small journey. That is going back to your own self first, to your death. And I want to say that most of the thoughts that I will be saying today are not mine, but they are mostly from either an article by Metropolitan Saba or by Father Thomas Hopko. As Sayyidna said, I started, he said, العالم ما بتحب سائل ذاته ما حدا بحب يعمل self-reflection no one wants to do real self-reflection it is true Serious self-reflection is uncomfortable. It makes you uncomfortable if you dig deep. And this is why maybe people are scared of the word repentance. Another reason why people are usually scared from the word repentance is the fact that we all associated with the negative. I need to stop doing the bad things. مرتبط بالأمور السلبية لازم وقف أعمل الشيء المنو منيح بس هاي منو التوبة This is not repentance We have this understanding because we lack spiritual understanding that repentance is a positive thing التوبة أمر إيجابي منو سلبي It is not stopping to do the bad thing but more choosing the good thing Choosing what is better, choosing beauty, choosing joy, choosing hope, choosing Christ. And many of us have distorted understandings of what repentance is, Malish, because of a lot of medieval Western teachings and lots of Christian literature that come from the West that illustrate repentance as a punishment. بدك تقاصص حالك بدك تضرب حالك بدك تكبت نفسك This is not orthodox theology at all These wrong teachings illustrate repentance as a punishment and as a penance بدك تدفع على الله جزاء على الشيء اللي عملته انت السيء Bad boy you know Take your gaff that's, that's not what we believe in this is not the repentance in our theology. Not out of fear, not out of submission. In Orthodox theology, repentance is a constant turning to Christ. Sayyidina Saba says, he calls it, it is a constant new birth. Just like baptism is a new birth. It is a constant new birth. It is a perpetual awareness, he says, of not persisting in sin. It is a rise after every fall. It is coming back to yourself. It is a longing. 
للجمال اللي الله عنده اياه it is a longing for the joy of the fatherly house and when we say coming back to ourselves we mean you know what we mean remembering the goodness in you the image of God in you your base your nature is good it's not evil Many have their own understanding. We think that we are created evil in sin and you have to live your life trying to find a way out like the escape room. You know, how can I find a way out from the darkness, from the evil to find the goodness? No. You are born good. Your nature is good. Sin is the deviation. It is not the foundation. Sin is the deviation, not the foundation. It is, if I can call it, a glitch in the system. Sin is a glitch in the system, a malfunctioning. So this is not your nature. Repentance is fixing the glitch, choosing Christ, not succeeding to escape the darkness you are in. No. This, I'm saying this because this should make you feel more powerful and more possible to achieve repentance because it is merely unearthing what is truly in your soul. أساسك منيح أساسك منو سيء منو خاطئ الخطية هي الشواز عن طبيعتك So this is the first notion of coming back to ourself العودة إلى الذات coming back to ourself like the prodigal son unearthing unearthing who you truly are. And it leads me to the second notion I'm speaking about today related to repentance. And this I learned from Father Hopko. It relates to coming back now to the Father's house. نَرْجَعَ عَلَى بَيْتْ بَيْنَا الْمَنْزِلِ الْأَبَوِي I hope I'm not way off, but Tell me if I'm mistaken. Don't we all, or most of us, I hope, have these memories of Bayt Ahlna or Bayt Jidna, the house of our father, the house of our parents, the house of our grandparents, where you have this feeling of nostalgia, of safety. There is no care. ما في شيء موجع لك قلبك. ما في شيء موجع لك راسك. ما في هم. There is safety. There is food. There is warmth. There is good memories. Like a worry-free life when we are children with our parents. Repentance is coming back to that. But here is the notion Father Hopko introduces. He says, you will not be able to go back to that fatherly house if you don't have memories of it. If you don't have memories of the fatherly house, I am sure there are some people, maybe here, I hope not, but there are some people when you speak about our fathers or mothers or grandparents' house and the memories and the nostalgia and the safety, they were like, what are you talking about? Because they didn't have the experience. They had difficult life circumstances. Same thing in the spiritual life. To go back to the father's house, you need memories to go back to it, to remember it. And this is why the spiritual life, life in Christ, حياتكم كلها هي إنه تخلقوا هيدي الذاكرة is to create these memories. So that when we fall, when you fall, you have enough memories to desire going back. This is the spiritual life. When we pray, when we come to church, when we receive the sacraments of the church, when we have a community, a loving community in the church, when you fast, when we celebrate the feasts of the church, we are creating and solidifying the memories in our souls. We taste how good the Lord is. When you taste, the taste stays. And regardless of how far you go, 
it is بيقولوا بالعربي معنا تحت لسانك it is still under your you know taste buds you remember it you go back to it you want to go back to it and thus like Father Hoppo says when you are in the dirt in the pig pen لما تكونوا بين الخنازير مثل ما هيدا الابن عمل you have a memory of the taste you had long time ago and there will come a point you will come back to yourself and I say I will arise and go back to my father and he will take me back and there is a place for this house it is the church it embodies this place the church this is the place This is the importance of the spiritual life. The spiritual life is not to make you perfect and sinless. God will purify you. But the spiritual life, the goal of the spiritual life is to create this knowledge and experience, the memory of the beauty of the place and then when you are in the dirt, you know you have a place to go back to. A physical place, if you say, as the church and God church. Spiritual place. This is a repentance. Coming back to oneself and remembering the taste of the Father's house and choosing, choosing that taste and not the other tastes. And finally, repentance is also you knowing that there is enough of that taste for everyone. That's what Ibn Kbir Ghar and Hayyul Sbir. Akhad Yabayi, Akhad Kil Mirath, Udaya, Kil Musayyatak, Ubas Am Yaja, Am Tihtifil Fi, told him, Baba, my brother took all your money and squandered them and wasted your resources. And now he comes back, not only you take him back, you celebrate him. You know what jealousy, you know what jealousy is? Just like I said last week, pride might mean that we have to ask ourselves, do we really believe in God? If pride is capturing us, enslaving us. If jealousy is enslaving us, if, you, if we have lots of jealousy, we have to ask, do we really believe in God? Why am I asking this question? Because if you really believe in God, you know that there is enough and unlimited supply for everyone. So that son ought to have been happy because what he, he has been getting and will always get, he will continue to get. But now his, his brother is too. Jealousy prevents repentance. Jealousy and comparison. تمنع بتصير حاجز بتمنع التوبة lack of memory كنا عن lack of memory prevents repentance refusal to self reflect prevents repentance and jealousy comparison prevents repentance beloved in Christ repentance is choosing the good portion اختيار النصيب الصالح like Mary Martha's sister did and thank God for the church, for the church's sacraments, prayer, fasting, life, and community, for immersing us in the good portion. Immersing us in the good portion, the good taste, the best spiritual clothing and shoes and drink, and the fatted calf, all the nutrition you need. So that always the memory of the Father's house, inshallah, all the, me the memory of the Father's house, عطول بتكون أقوى عندكم من أي ذكرة تانية. Hopefully that when we are immersed, the memory of the Father's house will become in your souls way stronger and more powerful than the biggest stench of the pigs of our sins. And we find our way back by the spiritual senses and memory. And the Father will always take us back. He will always be waiting for us joyfully. 
ready to take you back, ready to give you more and more, ready to make you His and ready to make you like Him. Glory to Him forever. Amen.